Okay, my friends, it's time for some piano. Hi, friends, how are you? It's so nice to see you here again at piano. We are starting a new level today, level B, and we will be in the blue books now. But before we actually get started, let's sing the welcome song. It's been such a long time since we have sung together, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Here we go. Sing hello, hello. Sing hello, hello. H E L L O. Sing hello, hello. Sing hello, hello. H You're just so excited to get started in these blue books. I am too. It's a lot of fun to be teaching from these new books. We're going to have a great time today. Um, if the grown-up watching with you wouldn't mind liking and commenting on this video, all that helps me, okay? Also, if you can subscribe here on YouTube, that helps a bunch. And thank you so much for being a patron. I really appreciate the financial support and it keeps these lessons coming, so thank you so much. Let's get started, my friends. Now, pull out your brand new blue books, and we're gonna look for this one with the little boy sitting at the piano, okay? This is your lesson book. It looks a lot like your orange book, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. This is gonna be the one that we're gonna be playing and learning our songs from for today, okay? You're also going to need your theory book for today, and that's this one. Okay, so pull that one out of your pack. Very good. All right, well, let's get started here. Now, I know all of last level, you were learning about your finger numbers, your note names in C position, and learning how to read on the treble staff and the bass staff. At the very end of your book, you were learning how to read on the grand staff, weren't you? Yes, it's so wonderful to be able to play on that grand staff. Let's see if you can remember what that is. All right, I have a grand staff right here. Now, can you tell me where the treble clef is? Let's see if you can find it. Oh yeah, if you said it was right there, there it is. Now, where is my bass clef? Oh yeah, if you said this one, you are correct. Now, do you remember how many lines and spaces are on each staff? If you said five lines and four spaces, you would be correct. Wow, you know so much. I'm so excited. All right, well, that was a great little review. Let's take a look at that blue lesson book now, okay? Let's turn to page four. Four. All right, and on page four, we are going to get our very first song. And here it is. It's called Circus Day. Oh man, have you been to the circus before? It's so much fun to go to the circus. I'm very excited to see how this song goes. Now before we play, let's look at it and see if we can recognize anything. Do you see your grand staff? I see it at the very beginning. There's my treble clef and my bass clef. I also see a time signature. Do you remember the time signature? Yes, this one's in 4-4 four, four time. So we're gonna have four beats per measure and the quarter note will get the beat. Now, I also see our beginning dynamic sign. Do you remember your dynamics? That's about how loud or soft we play, isn't it? What's that first dynamic sign that you see there? Forte, isn't it? Oh yes, it's a big, nice forte. Oh yes. And then what about the second line? Does it stay forte or does it change? Let's look. 
It stays nice and forte, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, we know in a circus, things can be super loud because they're trying to get the audience excited and happy for all the cool things about to happen. So I understand why it should be forte. Well, let's see if we can review how to find our C position. I'll switch to piano view so you can see it, okay? I bet you already know how to get there. <laughs> all right, so let's see how this goes. Good. C position. So let's see if we can find that middle C close to our belly button. There's my two black key group. And there's my middle C. There's my right hand finger one on that C. Okay. Now for us to find our C position for the left hand, we need to count down from our middle C. One, two, three notes to the G below middle C. And there's my C position. Did you find it? Excellent, very good work. Now let's see if we can play what we see on the top and the bottom line, okay? Right hand will be first, starting with the finger one on middle C, okay? Let's say our finger numbers as we play. Here we go. One, two, ready? Play. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, line two, left hand. One, two, three. job on that one? <laughs> yeah, it's nice because it seems like all of those notes are in little steps going up and going down. No skips or anything like that, so that's a good thing. <laughs> I think maybe we could probably play it again. I think I could probably play it a little louder. What do you think? I didn't really do a forte, did I? Let's see if you can do a good forte too, okay? Let's say our note names this time, all right? Let's give it a try. You can do it. <laughs> Here we go. Very nice. All right, let's find that C position again. I see my middle C. I'm gonna count down, one, two, three, and then there's my left hand in C position. Now, I'm gonna try my best to remember to play forte, okay? But if I'm not playing loud enough, you need to say forte, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, play. C, D, E, F, G, M, E, D, C. Did you play super forte? I bet you did. <laughs> it's fun to play forte, especially when we get to imagine all those cool animals at the circus, okay? Now let's see if we can sing the song a little bit too, because I love reading those words of the song, and I know my friend Joshua really likes to sing the songs when he practices. So let's sing it together. Here it goes. Bears are dancing, ponies prancing, clowns are fun to see. When the circus comes to town, what fun for you and me. 
Wasn't that great? <laughs> yeah, Miss Susie sounds pretty good today. That's pretty nice. Maybe it's because I had a good glass of water before I began. <laughs> yeah, so if you like to sing those words as you play too, go ahead and do that. That's why they're there. It really helps us learn our songs, okay? You've done wonderfully on this beautiful Circus Day song, right? I'm so proud of you. Well, we're gonna get another song. Yes, we're getting a second song today, okay? Our second song is going to be on page five, and it is called Smoothly Rocking. Okay, this is an important song because we're learning something new. Do you see the orange box? I see it, okay? So let me read to you what's in that box, okay? It says, slur. Slurs mean play legato. Ooh, fancy word. Slurs often divide music into phrases. A phrase is a musical thought or sentence. You know when you're reading a book and you have the book divided into sentences? It's like we have a musical sentence here. And the slur, the long line across, tells us the beginning of the sentence and the end of the sentence, right? So what we'll do when we play legato is we play smoothly connected, okay? I have a wonderful toy here that I like to play with. You know slinkies, they're so fun, aren't they? Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Well, slinkies are great for teaching legato. Can you say it? Legato, very good. So when we're playing legato, we wanna play smooth across the phrase, right? So all of those notes need to go together smoothly, right? Smooth, right? <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> Yeah, so as we're playing, we want to make sure that the notes feel like they're connected to each other, okay? Let me play some legato notes so you can hear what they sound like, because sometimes they can be a little confusing, okay? Use your ears. Listen carefully. This is legato playing. So each and every note, when you play the next note, that's when you release the note before it. This is how we play normally with no legato. Take a listen. Do you see how each and every note was separated from the one before it? Yeah, that wouldn't be considered legato playing. That would be just regular separated playing, okay? But we want to play legato like the slinky. I also like to pretend that I'm petting a nice soft kitty cat. Legato, right? Nice and smooth. <laughs> Not a porcupine. I don't want to pet a porcupine. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> smooth like a kitty cat, okay? <laughs> Let's see how this song goes now. Smoothly rocking. Now it says, this song is going to be slow. Now I know you can play slowly. You have very, very nice tempo. We also have 4-4 four, four time for our time signature. So that's pretty good too. You know what that means. Now, does the right hand or the left hand begin this piece? It looks like the right hand. So if you said right hand, you would be correct, okay? And then the ending of this little piece is the left hand. Now, do you see some slurs across the line? How many slurs do you see in this song? I see two, but guess what? There's a repeat. So that actually means there's four slurs in this song because we play it twice, don't we? 
<laughs> I have a little student who loves to tell me that all the time. Well, Miss Izzy, that's not right. There's a repeat sign, so it has to be more than that. It's very fun to teach, <laughs> to teach you all. You always keep me in check and make sure I'm saying the right things. <laughs> So let's see if we can learn to play this song smoothly rocking, okay? I'll switch to piano view and we'll learn it together. Here we go. All right. Wonderful, wonderful, there it is. All right, smoothly rocking. It looks like we're gonna be in our C position again. So I'm gonna put my right hand down with my finger one on middle C. Then I will count down one, two, three notes and put my left hand finger one on that G below middle C. Now this is a tricky song because it actually begins with a finger two on our D in the right hand. So let's pay extra close attention to make sure that we are playing those correct notes. Okay? As you're playing, see if you can make it smoothly connected. It might take you a few times to get it right, but that's okay. It's kind of funny playing legato when we have never played it before. So it's okay if it takes you a little bit longer to learn it. Here we go, I'll count off. One, two, ready, play. Two, three. interesting song. Now, how was it playing nice and smoothly connected? Was it tricky for you? It's okay if it was tricky, okay? Remember, when we're learning new things like how to play our songs and our notes, sometimes it'll be tricky. And you may not get it on the first time. You may not even get it on the third time or the fifth time. But that's why we practice, right? Each and every time that we play, we are getting better and better. And you'll get more comfortable playing your songs the more that you play them. That's why practice is so important. <laughs> if we didn't practice and you could just play everything perfectly the first time, well then, how would I be able to have a job? You wouldn't need a piano teacher, would you? <laughs> Well, it's a good thing that you need some help because I'm here to help you through it. All right, let's see if we can play smoothly rocking once more. But this time I'm gonna say my note names as I play, okay? Listen carefully, okay? You can do this. <laughs> All right, wonderful. C position, here we are. I am beginning with the right hand finger two on my D and I'll say note names as we play with repeats everybody, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, play. D, E, F, E, D, E, F, F, E. Awesome. 
You guys are fantastic. Now, I am very excited because now we get to sing the words, right? We always talk about doing the words. That's important. Yeah. All right. So, let's look at Smoothly Rocking. These are the words, okay? Play legato key to key. Rocking smoothly as can be. Repeat. Slur the notes together now. Rocking motions show us how. Yeah, that's a nice one too, isn't it? Very good. So we have two songs that we're going to practice, okay? Circus Day on page four and Smoothly Rocking on page five, okay? You can close your lesson book, okay? Now, let's take a look at our theory book, okay? Let's open to page two, three, and four. So looking at page two, this is what it looks like. We are going to be doing a review of our counting and our rhythm. Now I know you're very good at that because you already know how to count to four and you can count to three, right? So that's what this, this page is all about. This page is really fun because you get to pretend to be a conductor. Oh, that's so fun. You get to learn how to do the motions that the conductors do in front of the orchestras. One, two, three. One, two, three, right? There's certain patterns and shapes that they make in the air for each time signature. So you're gonna learn how to do that. And then finally on page four, all about legato playing smoothly connecting the phrases, okay? If you need help with your theory homework, make sure to tell your grown-up to check out Discord so we can work together on it, okay? Now, that's what you're gonna be doing for theory homework, right? Oh yeah. But you know what? I think we have a friend that was gonna be visiting us today, right? Let me see if she's ready. <laughs> hey Maria, are you here? Oh yeah, I'm here, hold on, I'm finishing up my french fries. Oops, Maria, it's not even lunchtime yet. Why is it that you're always eating those french fries? Well, I just like them, Miss Izzy, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, hi, friends! Oh my gosh, it's been so long, hi! Oh, this is so much fun. I'm so glad we get to hang out together today. Oh yeah, Maria, so we were learning about legato playing today. Oh, legato, yes, that's smoothly connected across the phrase. Oh yeah, see, Maria knows all about legato playing. She loves legato playing because it sounds so fancy when we play it. Very fancy. It makes it sound extra, extra cool. Now, do you want to play a game with me? Do you guys want to play a game with Maria? Yeah, that would be so much fun. Let's see if we can play the legato game, okay? So for the legato game, what we do is we listen carefully while Miss Izzy plays a phrase on the piano and you used your ears, these ears right here, and these ones right here, to see if it's legato, smoothly connected, or separated, okay? And you know separated doesn't have any smoothness to it, does it? No, it doesn't. You're right, Maria. All right, are you ready to listen? I'm ready, I'm ready, yay! Okay, so listen carefully, here we go. Here we go, listen carefully. Interesting. Now, was that legato or not legato? Okay, here's the next one. Listen carefully, here we go. Ooh, that one was interesting. I like that one. That one was a really cool one. Can you do it again? I think I could play it one more time, okay? This is the second one again. See if it's legato or not legato. Okay, that's that one. Let's move on, Miss Izzy, to number three. Okay. 
Okay, let's do number three now. Are you ready? Turn on those listening ears. That one was really, really pretty. I like that one. Yeah, that one was a great one. All right, are you ready for number four? Let's listen to number four. Liking that one? That one was really interesting. <laughs> that one was really cool, but I, you know, I think I need to hear it one more time. Okay, Maria, let's play it one more time. This is number four. All right, that was a good one. Last one, my friends. Tell me if it's legato or not legato. Now that's a nice one, isn't it? I loved that one, Miss Izzy. That was so pretty. I think I know the answer to that one too. Well, don't tell our friends what the answer is. I'm sure they can figure it out on their own. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, my friends. Well, that was the legato game. Write down your answers, okay? You can tell me in your class channel if you know the answers, all right? Let's say bye to Maria, okay? She's so funny. All right, my friends. Well, that concludes our lovely piano lesson for level B. Wasn't that fun? Yeah, so we'll have a wonderful time practicing your new songs. Get that theory homework done, and I'll see you soon, okay? Let's sing that goodbye song. Here we go. <laughs> sing goodbye. second party okay one second party one second party get some good practice in okay i'll see you soon